trauma from occlusion. Occlusal force. So what is that? Occlusal force is nothing but a force which is exerted on the opposing teeth when you just clench your teeth. So, when this occlusal forces is going to exceed the adaptive capacities of the supporting tissues. Injuries results. So, this injury, you call it as trauma from occlusion, and the occlusion causing this injuries is called traumatic occlusion. Next coming to the classification of trauma from occlusion. So, according to Glickman, he classified it according to the duration of cause as acute TFO and chronic TFO. So, first let's see about acute TFO. So when does acute TFO happen? It happens in cases of any abrupt occlusal forces which means that you are biting on an olive pit or there is some restorative or prosthetic appliances which is interfering or altering the direction of the occlusal force. Next coming to the symptoms. What are all the symptoms will you experience? You will have tooth pain sensitive to percussion then the tooth will be mobile. But then, if it still prevails, it may go into a symptom-free chronic TFO condition. Now let's discuss about chronic TFO. So, chronic TFO occurs when there is a gradual changes happening in the occlusion. Whereas, first one will be tooth wear, which happens in cases of any parafunctional habits like bruxism. Otherwise there is an unreplaced missing tooth. Because of that there is a super erupted tooth or a drifting of the tooth. The next cause would be that, orthodontically the tooth movement have been done to a functionally unacceptable position. So next, depending on the nature of cause, they can be divided into, primary TFO and, secondary TFO. So now let's see when does primary TFO occurs. Primary TFO occurs, due to excessive occlusal forces on the normal periodontium. Here you could see, normal bone, normal gingiva but there is excessive occlusal forces, that's why your TFO occurs. So next, when do you call it as a secondary TFO is that, there is a marginal periodontitis and bone loss and there is normal occlusal forces only. The periodontium could not sustain or withstand the normal occlusal forces, so that time you call it as, secondary TFO.